All right. Appreciate y'all coming. Uh, first of all, I couldn't do anything without the guys I got, and that's, you know, Shane wazen has been here a while. Y'all know how good a job he does with our receivers. Coach Beckles with the running backs, Coach Reagan with the quarterbacks, and Coach Dye has been a great addition. He's fit right in. And uh, I really have enjoyed working with them. I think we're going to have a great group again. This has probably been my funnest bunch to work with offensively. We're young in some spots. Uh, we're a little banged up in some spots right now. But we have a great group of guys right now, and I'm anxious to see what they can do. And I guess it all starts at the quarterback position, and there's not many people in the country that have two like we've got. We've got two guys that we trust right now to play at any time, and we're going to play them both. Okay, we're going to try to play them as much as we can. I wish we could play them both 80 plays, but there's only one quarterback spot. So we're going to play Corey at receiver a bunch. That's a joke. No. Uh, we are going to mix them up a little bit. So really pleased with them. Uh, wide outs, we've got some guys that are a little banged up to camp, but we've got a really group of guys. We've got a chance to be as good at wide out up front, the first four, as we've been. And uh, I think we've got some great guys that are going to give great depth to us right now. And, um, you know, inside and out, we've got two or three guys that are really doing nice jobs for us. And uh, as we keep evaluating the film, they're battling for traveling spots and playing spots, and we're excited about that. Um, the two young areas. Of course, everybody's talked about O-line and running backs. Starting with O-line, uh, we've got a great group of guys. They're really hard working. They're battling. They're getting better every day. Uh, Terrence Jones is the guy that's been there the most there, and he's really kind of leading that group. And then there's five or six guys that have stepped up and put themselves in position to play, and three or four more young guys that are going to have a chance to help us. So we're just going to keep moving those guys around, get the best five on the field, and hopefully be able to take eight or nine that we feel like we can put in a game and play with. Um, at the running back spot, um, we're really young there. But the thing that's been encouraging is all our young backs are pushing our older backs, and there's a lot of competition. They're really good in the meeting room helping each other out. The older guys are helping the young guys out, and that's going to benefit us in the long run. We were able to run the ball early today a little bit, I thought, did a nice job early, and I think that's going to pay off with the two young groups. And I don't want to uh, forget about our tight ends. Everybody talks about we don't use a tight end, but if you saw today, we use those guys a lot. We used them in our three-back set that we've been working on, our two-back set, and attack tight end. Both of those guys were not able to practice this spring, but they have really come on this fall, and I think they're going to give us some weapons and some different things we're going to be able to do with them. So I really feel good about this bunch. we got a long ways to go, uh, but I really like coaching them. They're a great group to coach. They come every day work. When they get tired, they try to push through, and we're going to keep getting better every day. Any questions? Yeah, by design. Uh, you know, We wanted to see if we could cram it in there some. Um, and, and force those young linemen and some of our other linemen and force our backs to really get that. And, and we had a couple of our wide outs that, that we held out today. So, you know, some of our older guys. So we really wanted to see if we could do that. I wanted to throw it a little bit more in the second half, but we were dead. To be honest with you, we were kind of dead. So uh, didn't get to throw it as much. But uh, I don't think we – I think when we look at the stats, we're going to be surprised as many we did throw. But uh, we really wanted to concentrate on running the ball early. Coach, your running back. Well, uh, you know, right now, Kari Franklin and, um, and Brandon Burks and, uh, have been getting a lot of the one reps because they're the oldest and they're the most mature. They've been here the longest. Um, and with the twos, we've kind of been rotating a few guys. Jordan Chun's been coming on. Michael Lindsay's been coming on. Uh, Deron White's been out a little bit. Uh, so he hadn't been able to be in that mix right there. Uh, Tim Longmire, another true freshman, has really showed up here. We played him at receiver the first week because I really felt like I needed to evaluate him at receiver. I knew he could play running back. And so we moved him at the beginning of this week, and he's only had five, six days at, at, at running back, and he's really progressing. So I think that group of guys at the F position is going to be really good. Now, the thing that nobody realizes is our big H position has really come on. You know, you got uh, Jared Lee, Nick McLaughlin, uh, Tommy Blevins is playing some tight end in Big H, and you got Josh Anderson who can also play F when he loses a little weight. You know, but right now those guys have really, that helps you in the run game because they are athletic and they can catch the ball and block. You guys are so young at the running back position and you have two senior quarterbacks. Will this be more of a pass heavy offense this year? Uh, I don't know. We're always a pass-heavy offense, so you know we're going to try to do what they give us. You know, if they're going to let us throw it, we're going to throw it. We're going to use the pass to set up the run. But one thing we want to be able to do, we want to run the ball in the fourth quarter. Okay, that means you're up, and we want to be up on people. So if we can run the ball in the fourth quarter, it's going to be a good year. Talk a little bit about the 
Brandon's development call has come on? Yeah, Brandon Burks. Uh, uh, you know, he had a pretty good spring, uh, pretty good spring. We played him a little bit last year. Didn't get much running back work, but he played on a lot of special teams. He matured over the summer. And one thing I've seen today I saw out of him that I had not seen is he broke a lot of long runs. You know, and, and that's really what makes a running back special. Okay, there's going to be a, a little bit of a hole. There's going to be somebody there, and you've got to make one guy miss, run over one guy, break one tackle. And when you got guys that can do that, which he showed today, it makes us a lot more powerful on offense. So I got dinged up. Any update on just the bumps and bruises and how they're about second half? Uh, yeah, he's all right. He hurt his ankle a little bit. He's all right. You know, you know, he, you know how that is in running backs, man. They get a little ankle. They want to step out, but he'll be fine. He was walking fine afterwards. You will see them both on the field at the same time. Um, change of pace, really. Um, you know, he's just a real athletic quarterback. You know, so there's just lots of things you can do. You can roll the pocket. You can use him as a wildcat guy. Um, but the thing people take for granted is he throws the ball extremely well. You know, um, he really has great mechanics. He's gotten better. Um, so I really look for him to grow. Last year, it, it wasn't Dion. It was me learning Dion more that kept him out early. Once I started getting a feel for him, you saw how we worked him. And we're going to try to do the same thing. We're going to play them both. We're gonna, they're, they, one thing about those two guys, uh, they, they are teammates through and through. They pull for each other. Um, they want each other to do well. They know it's going to take both of them. And we're going to try to use both of them as much as we can. The, the hard part about that is, is if Dion's playing other positions, he's running, he's a little tired. It ain't like just running out there and playing quarterback. So I've got to learn how to manage that. He's got to learn how to manage that. I think playing receiver this whole camp up to this point has helped him. You know, we've only put him in quarterback a little bit just so he could get that condition in. And I think he'll be ready to roll by the time we come to UAB. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't tell, uh, you know, without watching the film. You know, it's hard to tell really who, you know, we're just, we're kind of mixing guys around. You know, one of the things about being a tempo offense that people don't understand is you need lots of guys to play fast. Eleven guys cannot play fast for 80 plays a game. They cannot. So you've got to have it. If we can ever get to where we're too deep or, or we've got three tackles, three guards, two centers, if we can get to where we can build some depth, then we can play fast. How does that help us? Okay. It keeps us simple offensively, and it also gives our guys an opportunity to get the defense tired because we practice like that all the time. And they're a lot easier to block when they're tired than when they're fresh, I promise you. Yeah, uh, Clark's done a great job. He's exactly what we thought. Um, he's gained a little weight. We talked about it, me and him. He's in my meeting room. And, you know, when he came to camp, he was like 195. I think he's about 210 now. So he's gotten a little bigger and stronger. That's good. Uh, he's going to be a good addition. Right now he's picking things up good. He's got really good hands. He likes to block. And uh, I think he'll help us on some special teams and be able to help us some at the wide position, stand-up wide position. Coach, you were one of the top ten. I hope so. You know, I hope so. I think, like I said earlier, I think we've got a great group of guys. I think we've got enough weapons. You know, it's our job to find out which guys and where to put them and kind of mix them up. But we need a lot of guys to help because it's a long season and we want to average over 80 plays a game this year. And I think we're capable of doing that. So I'm really excited about it. You know, I don't know where it'll end up as far as how many yards and all that. The bottom line is we want to win all our games. That's the key. We ain't worried about yardage this year. We want to win all our games.